Welcome back everybody, it's time to lock down some Naya Slivers, and we have a one-lander again, so we can't keep it up against my gray. Uh, so we're just waiting on them, and then we're going to go ahead and click this mulligan button, and then... <laughs> okay, wow, alright, we will keep, and we'll go ahead and... Wow, what do we want to set up with here? Got to dump two things. Ugh, it's unfortunate. Ah, uh, I don't know. I think I want to just dump gem hide and sidewinder. <sighs> I don't even know, man. It's crazy. Or gem hide and viverlance. Hmm. Kind of a player are you, Gray? What am I gonna need more? Uh, it's kind of a toss-up here, because we don't know what we're playing against. Uh, I want to hang on to the Viverlint, so that's what I'm going to do. Say done, and let's hope for some good draws. We're going to forest for the planes. They're playing Colony Garden, so this could be Bulgles. Alright. Pass it back, unfortunately, not the most ideal situation. This could be Ramp Plays Colony, doesn't it? Ah, the Graph deck. Okay, I think we'll be fine. Uh, I think the flanking would have been the better pick. When it dies, you draw two cards. That's crazy. Okay. But I'm not worried about this deck. We've played it before, and I'm pretty sure they just kind of rage quit on us. So. Oh. Winding Way is beautiful here. That's nice. Uh, I'm just going to put down Sentinel first. It's a good boy. It's a good blocker boy. And we're going to see how they can get set up here. I know it was a little bit difficult for them to get set up last time. They tried to pop off. I need to reread what this is again. When this creature enters a battlefield with a plus... This creature enters with a plus one. Whenever a creature... You may have, move a counter from this creature onto it. Okay, right. They can move the stuff. So if they wanted to, they could move the counters over here. And they, that would actually be pretty smart. Yeah, and then they draw two cards, and now this is a 4-3. Cool. Alright, we're actually seeing it do what it needs to do this time around. Alright, so 4-3 Garrick's Companion. Not bad. Another colony garden. Alright. They got some blockers. Definitely would have wanted a flanking. But it's okay. We got a winding way. We're gonna we're gonna get set up here. We get a gem hide. Hmm. Yeah, let's set up with a gem hide. Let's get creatures down. I'm not going to be attacking in, so we're just going to be putting stuff down here. Next turn, we can really do some some stuff here. Six cards in hand, though. That What is it called? Uh, Bequeathal. Interesting card for this deck. I like it, though. Enchanted creatures die. You draw two cards for one mana. Alright, in comes the damage. Sure. Are you gonna deal extra damage to me? Do you have any tricks that you're gonna be doing? No tricks. Okay. Yup. Pit Skulk. Hmm. We're going to have to get that going a little bit. Alright, so... Do we want to just play out all our... Guys here? And then Winding Way next turn? Probably. So I'm going to play a Lord. I'm going to swing in. Or should I? Hmm...
kind of concerned about what tricks they might have. What combat tricks they might have. Like mutagenic growth or something. Maybe they don't have them in this deck at all, but I don't know. Maybe I just swing here. I'll just swing here just to be on the safe side. They can jump block, it's fine. Alright, then we'll put down the rest of these. Hunger. What are you hungering for? That sucks. What are you doing now? Holy frick. Holy frick. Ugh. Alright. So they're setting up for the hungers, huh? I see. That's lovely. Okay. Well, we're not going to be blocking Pit Hulk. But we're going to have to chump black. Chump, chump black? Chump block the Garrick's companion. Because that is a lot of damage. I'm concerned, but one good winding way here. And we could do some work. Alright. What do we got? Do you have anything else? You gonna play down some blockers? What? Okay, with the graph two. Sure. Hmm. It's winding way. Creature. Well, these were not the best hits here, I'll be honest. These were not the best. Alright, well. Get in for a little bit. And if Scar Pit Hulk gets any bigger, we're just dead, which he might. They might have one more hunger, but I can't not attack here. I mean, I suppose I could, but I don't think it'd be really beneficial to anybody. And then, um, hmm. How do we want to do this here? I guess we're just going to put down... Crap. Crap I don't want to block with, really. Oops. Oops. What am I doing? Uh, do I want to put down the other Sentinel? Why not? Okay, they didn't have a hunger, so that's good. We could still be dead. They could have a Rancor or something. It's fairly likely we're dead. They only need to get three more damage on us here. There's one. This is not a graph, though. Oh no, we are just dead, aren't we? Yeah, because Garrick's companion has trample. Which I'm forgetting about. We can, like, triple block it, though. Yeah, we don't have to be dead here. I'm overthinking the trample. Um, alright, so...
Let's go ahead and dump this guy. And cancel. This guy. Well, let me block there. So I guess we'll just dump everything in front of this, just in case. Why not, right? We're safe than sorry. In case they got some kind of pump. If they have the pump, though, they just put it on Pit Hulk. It's fine. Looks like they do have it. Alright. No big deal. Let's go. They got those guys big. Alright, so what's going to be helpful here? I think Swift Response is just going to be helpful. That's all I really think I want. Hunter, I don't see it being super... It might be okay. I think striking is going to be better here. So we'll just run two of the swift responses. Sure. I don't know. Anything else? We only saw one enchantment. Don't know if that's worth bringing in. Prismatic. Uh... Yeah, Prismatic might be worth bringing in for, like, a swing out. Uh, yeah, we'll play first. How about we not get a crappy hand, but we do anyways. That's awesome. Mulligan. We'll keep this one. We'll dump a land. Say done. Alright, we, we can rock with this. It's fine. All right, down we go. Young Wolf, classic Young Wolf. Okay. We got plenty of Lords, so I am going to attack in on this Young Wolf. They'll probably want to trade, which is fine with me. Not trade, but they'll probably want to kill him off so they can get him back a little bigger. No, they're just going to take it. Okay. Fair enough. Hmm. So if he does get counter, she's not going to do the Undying? Huh. Forgot about that with Undying. That, does, that seems counterintuitive to this deck then, right? Because they're trying to convert counters over on creatures and stuff, but if it has a counter on it, then the Undying's not going to trigger. Maybe I'm reading that wrong. I don't think I am. Oh well. Maybe they just wanted to set up for the Bequeathal. Now they do have Bequeathal on it. It can die, it can come back, and we'll kill him with a flanking or whatever. Which, I mean, honestly, at this point... We're outpacing them, so I don't care if they get some card draw here. It's fine. Flanking comes in. Young Wolf dies. Sure, you draw two cards. I sneak in for some three damage. He comes back as a 2-2. Two -two with the counter. I guess... I guess it's not counterintuitive, because then the counter thing can come in. And then they get a hunger on him. Making a nice 5-5. Five, five. Cool. Good setup. What else you got? Are we attacking? We are. We shall take... Another young wolf. Okay. What are you? Equip one. Whenever a quip creature dies, you gain three life. Oh, okay. Oh, that's nice. I wanted another one of these. Now we have... Some power. We've got some blockers. Just in case, which... Might need to block soon. We'll see. We're gonna do that move. Yep. Put him down to seven, though. This is just racing. Kind of 
Colony, an annoying blocker, unfortunately. What's the most I could take here? Nine? I could take nine here. Hmm. Is that a good double block? No, we're just going to take it for now. If they got vines or something, it's they got to wait for a lethal attack on that. There's the equip. That's annoying. So they're going to gain three, so they're at ten. They block two. We still kill them, right? Let's lead. See what we can find. Gem hides for days. What tricks do they have here? Black block, we get in for 12. They have one mana up. I mean, if they've got a fog, that'd be pretty boss, right? If they're just holding up a fog. <laughs> I mean, we have the lethal. I have to go for it here. Let's see what happens. Block, block. Flank, flank. Gain three. Go to ten. Take. There we go. Okay, good. Now, do we want the prismatic? I don't know. I don't know. I just want to draw into the swift responses. Let's run it back. Let's just run it back. Again with these hands. They are just... They are not helping us today at all. This is crazy. This would be a great hand if we had some lands. Mulligan. I just can't. I can't do this one lands. What's going on with our mana? This has been happening a lot recently. Just all of a sudden, MTGO is like, Nah, you're just not going to draw lands on your opening hands now. Like, Jeez, oh pizza. This is terrible. We just need to draw into a forest on this hand, I guess. This <laughs> is terrible. It's absolutely terrible. Young Wolf. I don't think we're going to compete with this this hand. Well, we got a swift response to kill a big creature, but uh, we're just getting the worst draws ever. sucks we can beat this deck give us a full hand we can beat it pit hulk all right well there's our switch response target i have two cards in hand thriving grove huh well, we're going to put that down. We're going to call red, but we're losing another turn and we're getting hit for four. But if I don't set up now, when will I have a chance, you know? Garrick's Companion, okay. The good news is... We're going to have some first strikes coming out. So we can at least go Sentinel striking. Or 
do we just go to the Lord here? Have a couple two twos with first strike. Yeah, we'll we'll do the two twos first strike. Get Sentinel down next turn. It's not like we're attacking quite yet, anyways. Go ahead. What a terrible start we had. Can we pull it out? I have my doubts. Swing out. Do we try to kill a Garx companion? I think we do. Take four. Blow out with the vines here. Yeah, frick, man. That sucks. Kill it. Kill it with fire. Should have seen that coming, honestly. What was our alternative? I mean, something was going to die. We blocked, something was going to die anyways. More than likely. Alright, well, we're doing fantastic. They were just going to save that vines for whatever they wanted to do. Probably just on our lord on whatever we blocked with. They could have just double vines the young wolf on a, you know... On a Lord block or something like that. You know, tap out before you swing? No. Okay. The unfortunate part is that the Rancor goes back to hand. Let's see what they do here. Huh. Bio shift. Cool looking card. So they're moving stuff around. Still is problematic, though. A lot of this. Ah, oh, you know what? Mm, why didn't I do that? Yeah, nah, I missed my play. I th we were in a bad spot anyways, but I should have, in response to this, done the swift response. I was going to let it go through, but no, that was foolish of me. I should have just destroyed it first. Uh, and then it wouldn't have been able to move any counters from one to the other. Frick. Okay. Yeah, that was a mistake. So now we come down to... How we want to do this here. Getting hit for five. Yeah, I messed up. That's unfortunate. Unfortunate misplay. That goes back to hand. Now they're just eating our sentinel. Still on two lands as well, which is crazy. Uh, fight the good fight, I guess? I don't know. This is ridiculous. <laughs> we're taking three. One bit of damage. Oh, no, we're dead. We're just dead. We're dead. They've got the Rancor. All right, good game. I'm not going to hang around any longer. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one, though. It's a, it's a cool deck. At least we got to see it a little bit more uh, than last time, where they kind of conceded pretty quickly. And they were able to pop off a bit, so a couple misplays, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next video.